If you'd like to see how I transformed this very plain Carlo Wasi Rhine bottle into this lovely shimmery glittery bottle like the ones you see here, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video I am going to be adding some glitter to this Carlo Rossi um, Raspberry Sangria Wine. I'm headed out and I want to make something really quick as a birthday gift. Um, I was invited to go axe throwing, so you know that's something different. And I wanted to just have something, you know, to give to the birthday girl. I'm going to be using some Mod Podge glue. And I'm going to be using this Recollections um, polyester, like chunky glitter. It's called Bling Strass, if you want to know about this. Usually I only need one coat, which is going to be very good for today because, like I said, I'm in a hurry. I am going to use a sponge brush. I already wiped the bottle down with alcohol just in case. I'm just gonna pour some um, Mod Podge, and I use the gloss kind. I'm gonna pour some onto this little lid and get started. So you just want to kind of take your time, but not too slow, because this glue will start to dry up. And I'm just going to line my brush up with the label and just pull downward. Or just find whatever flow best works for you. But make sure the glue isn't clumpy because if the glue is clumpy, it will be clumpy on the bottle when you add the glitter. So I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing the bottle. Okay, so I'm just adding the Mod Podge onto the bottle. Um, and of course, it's up to you if you want to keep the label on the bottle or if you want to go over it. Lately, I've been finding myself covering up the label because that means there's more glitter. And the label to me just wasn't that important. So once you get your glitter nice and smooth, you'll start to go ahead and shake on your glitter. And again, when you're using the thicker, chunkier glitters, they do tend to have more coverage, which is wonderful, because like I said, I'm in a hurry. I started out with one wine bottle, and I ended up doing more. Okay, so the birthday girl um, is actually, she likes wine. And the bottle originally was for her, but I had so much wine here and a couple of my other homegirls are going to be there. So I decided, let me go ahead and just make all my friends a bottle of wine. A brush comes in handy, an extra brush. Usually for my wine bottles, I use a blush brush, but I just have this bigger brush that I use for my canvases. Um, but whatever brush you have, it just kind of helps to knock off any excess. And as you can see, this is so pretty and full already. Very sparkly. Okay, so this is almost finished, just to show you how it doesn't take that long. Now, you are welcome to mask off the label. Um, I don't like to mask. I just don't have the patience. And sometimes, I just feel like it'll be too crooked and it'll probably come out worse. So, I just try to go with a steady hand. And where I don't um, end up too steady, I just kind of take something sharp and just kind of get the glitter off the area I don't want it on before it gets too hard and dries. So you just go ahead and shake on a hefty amount. Make sure you're covering up all the glitter, um, covering up all the glue on the bottle. And this color is just so pretty. It's a holographic recollections glitter um, from Michaels. Okay, so, so far it's looking pretty good. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of dusting here around this label. And I'm gonna let this dry because this is the first coat. And from what I see, it's very, very full. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry. Then we'll come back and we'll seal this so that the glitter isn't falling off all over the place. That's one coat and it just does not look bad at all. It's super cute. Look at that. Okay, so I decided to do another bottle because I have a lot of wine around here. I haven't did a wine bottle in a while. And when I'm doing glitter, I like to just do a couple glitters because it's kind of messy anyway. So um, I have this Carlo Rossi Peach Sangria. And I so happen to have this cute um, orange glitter that I got from uh, uh, Michael's that I can't wait to use. So that's what we're doing while the other bottle's drying. I'll just go ahead and knock this out. 
Okay, so I already have my uh, Mod Podge laid out here. Um, hopefully I don't get any um, silver in the orange, but if I do, I don't care, it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. And here I'm just repeating the same process. I just sped it up because it's kind of self-explanatory. I'm trying to cover up more of the bottle. Usually I go in smaller sections. Um, but again, I am in a, in a hurry, so I just wanna get as much done as possible in in one session. Okay, so now I'm adding on this orange glitter. Now this orange glitter, it is not uh, extra fine or a fine glitter. This is just like a regular glitter. I don't know what I would call it, but it's not a confetti, but it has such a nice thick coverage. And this color is just gorgeous. I really, really like the way this orange, it just looks a lot better than what I expected. I'm so glad that I picked this up because I felt like I just literally had every color except for orange. So I was like, okay, I have to get orange. And I'm really happy about it. So look at that. It's nice and full, but you can kind of see the label on the back. So what I would probably do is just go over that little part a little bit more. Or, you know, if you're really particular about it, you could just paint over the label. Some people may want to scrape it off. It's definitely up to you or how much, you know, hassle you want to do with that. I just can't get over how pretty this orange is. It also kind of reminds me of like a bronze color as well, but it's not. But it just goes so well with this particular bottle. So this is the second bottle I'm doing. I didn't realize that I end up with four bottles, but I did. So this is the second one. And let me know what you guys think. Like which bottle did you like the best? I kind of just went off the colors that I know um, my friends like, but I just chose the colors I wanted to also use. Like some of them were glitters I had never used. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and see if I need to add another um, coat or not. Okay, so I, think I guess I just couldn't help myself because I just really like glitter. I'm gonna do a third bottle. Um, I'm just gonna pour a little bit more of the Mod Podge. Again, if you fast forward it or something, I'm using my Podge glue. Just make sure it's nice and smooth. Again, this is something that you could do if you're in a crunch um, and you're headed out and you can't think of something really quick, but you also, you just have to have the, the bottles. I just happen to have plenty of wine bottles because I just think they're cute and I buy them when they're on sale. And I know these make uh, really nice gifts. Let's see quickly because usually if you take too long it'll start to dry but I feel like I'm moving pretty fast here I don't usually suggest this I usually should just section by section but when you're in a crunch you kind of have to know how to cut corners and speed things up especially if you maybe if you're uh, taking orders and someone is like okay I understand you said I need three days or a week, but this is last minute. I'm willing to pay you a little extra. You gotta figure out how to bang stuff out in a crunch. So this is what this is the type of video this is. Learning how to bang stuff out in the crunch, but also, of course, still providing good quality. Okay, so my battery went dead and my glue is starting to dry up for that reason. So I have to really Carry up and get this on. Okay, so this is like an aqua holographic glitter. It's like string, um, I guess you call it string glitter. It's probably called something better than that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this on. It's very, very, very lightweight. It has such a beautiful color to it. The consistency is just like really thin. As I began to pour it on, um, I can tell that it's like a little patchy 
but it's pretty it's it's like really pretty it's different it looks fuzzy a little bit this dry and see if I can just get away with doing some touch-ups but just one coat okay so I've let these two dry the blue one is still drying okay the product that I'm going to use to seal my um, glitter is called try art liquid glass this size was about $68 I think and this is two liters and I think that was including the shipping now you could use Mod Podge, do what you want to do, but I feel like liquid tri art, um, I feel like tri art liquid glass really makes the glitter look super sparkly. I also use this on my canvases. It's like a, um, a resin replacement and it dries clear. It looks like a milky whiteness, but it dries clear. So this is what I'm going to use. You could use Mod Podge if you want to, to me, Mod Podge kind of dulls glitter, but a, a trick you can do is use Mod Podge, mix it with a little bit of the same color glitter, and try it that way, okay? But I'm gonna use this. You can get this from dickblick.com. $62 for this size. I use a lot of this, but you can get a small one for about, um, a really small eight ounce one. I wanna say for about maybe 12 bucks or something. So. For me, it made sense to get a really big one because I keep running out of it. So I'm just gonna put some of this on here. The spackle you see on here is already like sealed into the lid. That's nothing. Um, and I have a fresh clean brush. I may use the same brush or two different brushes for these, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on here. So that's what I'm going to do now. So the liquid glass has like, um. I don't want to say a runny consistency, but it is like on the thin side. So that's why I'm just blotting it on gently because I don't want to pull off my glitter. Um, and it even was better for me. I just pouring it on like I did and just kind of patting it on there. I feel like it just has a very nice shine and it locks that glitter in very, very well. So that's the method I'm using. Just kind of like pouring it a little bit on there. I love this stuff. Okay, so we're on to the orange bottle. I'm gonna do the same process and it just works so much better, like I said, to just pour it on. Like you see how it's kind of just running down quickly. So I'm just kind of just pulling it down, covering as much as I can with it. And you know, once you get the whole bottle covered, make sure, you know, that it's everywhere because wherever you don't put it, you will have some glitter fall off. And we don't want that because that can be quite a hassle or just a mess so we always want to make sure we seal the glitter a little area here that I'll fix that but this is covered I'm gonna let this dry So this one does have some patchy areas that can easily be fixed, um, but this is going to go ahead and dry and seal. And I can just throw a little bit more glitter on these patchy areas. So out of all the bottles, um, this is the only one that gave me a little hassle here. I'm just gonna cover up these little patchy areas so it can be a little fuller. But other than that, it'll be okay. Okay, so. I really need to be getting ready to get out of here to go to this party, but look, I found this blue, um, it's called Sweet B-I-T-C-H, it's a Moscato. The bottle is blue. I really feel like the birthday girl likes blue. I really feel like she does. The other bottles 
One of them was like a confetti aqua color. It's still blue though. But this is so pretty and I actually was looking for it and I just found it. I feel like this is gonna be a very full of coverage so I should only need one coat anyway. Remember, just because you're in a hurry doing something, that does not mean that the quality has to lack. The difference for me is that if I wasn't in a hurry, I would add some rhinestones to this area, or you can add glitter up there if you want to. Or if you have some adhesive um, sheets, you could do that too. Adhesive sheets of rhinestones, you could do that as well. I'm okay with the look of not having rhinestones on that area. But if it's not a, you know, if it's like a paying customer and you have more time, um, that does add an extra, you know, cuteness to the overall look. And I'm not saying just because something is a gift and they're not paying for it, it doesn't have to be the whole shebang, but you kind of get where I'm going with that. When you're giving out gifts, you do got to take in certain things into consideration. Especially if it's rhinestones and it's dipping into your inventory. I think gifts is great when it's um, glitter. Glitter goes a long way. Now rhinestones, that's different. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start adding this beautiful, beautiful glitter. It's so, so, so pretty. And hopefully I don't run out. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. I think let me cut the light down some. That is absolutely gorgeous. This one doesn't have a small fine glitter in between. I like when it's chunky, but it has a fine in between to get in those little in between spaces. I definitely need to get a bigger bottle of this because this is just everything. Look at that, it's so, 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 so pretty. Very pretty. And the fact that the bottle is blue, if there is any spacing, it shouldn't look too bad. So I'm definitely gonna have to invest in a bigger bottle of this glitter because this glitter is just so, so, so beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. And it made sense that the birthday girl have a different bottle than everyone else's. And she really did like it. She was very pleased with it. Okay, you guys, here is the final finished result. So there was like a total of four of my, actually five. So the birthday girl and then four of my other friends are gonna be at this party. So I'm actually short a bottle and I didn't have time to make another one. Um, so there's four here, but in the next clip, I'll show you where I had another bottle at home that I had already did. But you guys, these are so pretty. I love, love, love that blue. I feel like that orange is my second favorite and the silver and then the other aqua color um, glitter. Let me know which ones you like, but these are very pretty and you could do these in a crunch. Now usually, yes, of course, I would add a little bling to that top area part. I did not have time for that. See, look, that other pink um, and orange confetti glitter bottle, that's another bottle that I had from another time. I never even posted the video. I think some of the footage got lost, but it's very pretty as well. These are some cute uh, gifts that you can make for people's birthday, like I did, or if you're just getting, getting together with some friends, you know. Also, you know, Christmas is right around the corner. These will make great stocking stuffers. If not a stocking stuffer, this would just be an actual great gift. You know, you present it right, put it in a cute little bag and everything, or a cute box. So thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Thanks, you guys, so much. Bye-bye. MyRoyalRadiance.com, we sell lip gloss, hand sanitizers, shoe charms, and much more. Use my coupon code ROYALBEAUTY10 off for a special discount for my subscribers.
Be sure to check out our website, crtacticaldefense.com, where we sell in waistband gun holsters available in four different sizes. We also carry gun cleaning mats and much more. Use my special discount code VIBES, V I B E S, for my subscribers. Be sure to check out my other videos in my playlist with other glittered bottles and blinged bottles. And thanks, you guys, again for watching this video. Bye bye.